Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome to another edition of Sports Sunday. That's actually not on a Sunday, but that is irrelevant. Where we talk about sports, life, and everything in between. This is the uh, March Madness special. Still rolling with that, although I have not really filmed one of these in a little bit. But we're going to do it right now, because things have happened that is worth talking about, and I'm excited about it. It's all good, and last time we came and played, we won our, we won our final matchup. And uh, we were actually able to get some uh, creative player points to use, and so we used it to make uh, we used it to make our player just a little bit taller, uh, kind of like the kind of like the rap song that I can't remember who did it. I want to say his name was was his name I think his name was Skilo. He did the I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I can't remember I can't remember a lot of the a lot of older songs like that. Um, but yeah, that's, so that's that's kind of what we're looking at right now. We're kind of getting to a point where we're going to need to be able to be tall enough to not, you know, <laughs> to not have to deal with guys blocking our three-point shots all the time uh, when we're when we're inside of uh, the second half because that's when that really starts kicking in and it's really a pain in the ass. So we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, dude, things. Wow, I totally forgot how to do the tip. <laughs> that was not good. Oh boy. Okay, we need to we need to remember the buttons here. I haven't I had it's I haven't taken that long of a break off, and I have completely forgotten <laughs> what I'm doing in this game. Okay, we're we're all good. We're, we're gonna we're gonna pick this up here, right quick. Oh, it's Ray Allen. I forgot about that. It's kind of kind of hard to remember that he once played for the Bucks, and he was really good with them too. I just the only way that I remember him now. Uh, was that he played for, you know, he had the, the big run in Boston with Kevin Garnett and Paul Pierce, and he had, uh, obviously, the he had his, his probably the shot of his lifetime when he played for the Heat and uh, and had the crucial shot in Game 6 that uh, that won them uh, the game, and essentially the, the series after that, because they won the next game, obviously, but, I mean, that definitely saved their collected playoff life in there. But I always forget that the beginning of his career was definitely in Milwaukee. That's... That's funny. I love Ray Allen, dude. I loved his shot. His shot, he had such a fast release. It was just bonkers to watch it. And he, he would always have just the straightest face <laughs> every time. Just absolutely emotionless. He he was like the clo he was like the guard version. He was like the guard version of, of Tim Duncan, essentially. Just absolutely no emotion ever. Like you could you could have told him on a possession that his wife got smothered by a semi in a car accident, and he would have, and like during a game, he'd just been like, "Well, all right, <laughs> I will deal with that later." But for now, I must make this three at lightning speed. Oh, there we go, there we go. All right, give me the ball, give me the ball, and up we go. -hoo -hoo! <laughs> God, I love those things. The 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 alley oop dunks are are the best, especially the ones where you're going up and then you just vault it higher up. Those are those are. Those are awesome. I gotta tell you though, um, my bracket, my bracket for March Madness is actually looking pretty good, despite how how horrendously bad um, how horrendously bad my bracket was looking in uh, in the opening round. It's it's actually uh, it's actually holding its own right now. Like uh, the a couple of the a couple of the upsets that I picked to happen definitely happened. Unfortunately, one of them was at the expense of my of my Oregon Ducks. Oh, oh come on! You got to get in there, son. Um, yeah, yeah. I'll admit it. I'll definitely admit it. I definitely went against my own team. I definitely picked Oklahoma to beat Oregon in the Elite Eight, and they did. And unfortunately, it wasn't really that close. I definitely thought it was going to be a lot closer than that. Unfortunately, the Oregon team that I was afraid of, uh, the one that just, like, the, the offense can't get it done whatsoever for some reason, even though they have all the players that have all the tools to absolutely light the world on fire, uh, they did not show up. And and so they ended up getting kind of kind of trashed on. But I will tell you one thing. Buddy Heald for Oklahoma is no freaking joke, man. That guy is not from this planet. That guy is from an alien planet. I'm not kidding. Like, he must have been playing in some sort of, like, otherworldly basketball tournament from some alien planet <laughs> on, like, the 470th freaking Vlick Knack cycle or whatever. And uh, just, just totally wrecking people up there, and they sent him down to Earth to, you know, test his metal against 
against Earth and people, and he just ruined everybody. He had, like, 37 points on, like, 8 of 13 from 3, and, like, 13 out of 20 total, but just absolutely just insane. He's so good. And he wasn't even that highly recruited out of high school. That's the crazy thing to me, is that he was he was a very average, you know, recruit in terms of that stuff. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, that's him. <laughs> the longest hook shot ever shot. <laughs> Come on, baby. Come on. God, you gotta make those. I mean, they teach you in, in peewee basketball to make those. You can't be missing a point-blank layup. I don't care if you're doing a 360 or not. I mean, you just you can't do that, man. Oh! Crap. At, le hey, at least this is happening in the second quarter and not later. Crap. Yeah, I totally forgot. When you're on fire, you do not... Oh! Forgot when you're on fire, there's definitely... Like, goaltending is basically never called. Gosh, dang it! <laughs> it's so stupid. I hate it. I hate it with an absolute passion. His foot was on the line. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. But yeah, man. So I, I definitely, I definitely did have, um, I did have Oklahoma moving on. But the one that I was a little more worried about was definitely, um, was definitely Kansas playing Villanova. I picked Villanova to pull the upset, and they totally did. Oh yeah, that was good times. Gosh, damn it. These guys are killing me right now. Ray Allen is bringing the heat. There we go. Oh, oh, dang it, I thought I was going to be able to get him. Not quite. A one-point deficit's not that bad. I, I will take that. So, yeah, so this side of the bracket is looking pretty good, I, I must say. And then, um, on the other side of the bracket, having uh, North Carolina, I picked North Carolina, obviously, because uh, they're the ones that I have winning the championship. And then, Vin Baker? Vin freaking Baker? <laughs> that old sack of bones, huh? That guy is alive at this point. Um, but yeah, so I, d I definitely didn't pick Syracuse to be in that position. I think that I had, um, I think I had, I don't remember actually. Oh, 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 oh crap. Oh, Rashid, Rashid the Weed Wallace coming out with the big boy. All right, let's see if I can actually do something here. <laughs> Finally, gosh, I have never been able to actually enjoy having uh, having fire. I generally, oh, dude, you can't block a guy while he's on fire. Come on, give me the ball, give me the ball. I am putting this thing up right now. <laughs> oh yeah, oh baby, I'm gonna do you dirty. Oh yes, put it up, baby. Yeah. Oh what? What? He missed on fire. That doesn't happen. You lying sack! <laughs> that is not... Since when were you allowed to miss while you're on fire? I mean, outside of, like, you know, hoisting it from full court or something like that. Like that, uh, I mean, it's it's definitely not a guaranteed make from, from that far away, but usually a standard three, I mean, you're gonna make that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, that was a bad pass. hey <laughs> So yeah, and then the uh, the uh, the bottom part of my bracket, the I think it was the south part of the bracket, is really the one that kind of kind of got me in trouble. Uh, that's that's where like the Michigan State pick and uh, a couple other things really got away from me. So that's where it kind of got bad. But I'm actually I'm looking pretty good overall. I mean, as long as at the ooh boy, jeez, my guy got g'd up from the feet up right there. Come on, go up. There you go. Oh, come on, man. Really? 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 The guy was... Uh, my guy was en route to the basket, and you just magically showed up and just destroyed him. I get it. I understand. I understand. I see what's up. I see what you're doing. Oh, no, no. Oh, come on. Oh, no. God, just... It's like... It's looking like a Golden State Warriors game out here. It's just constant launching of threes all over the place. <laughs> and making them for the most part. Oh boy. Oh, you gotta you, you gotta you gotta do the thing! No! No! Oh I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh we did the wrong shot! I was thinking he was gonna do just the, the one-handed launch him a jig there, but he didn't do it. You're killing me right now, man. You're killing me. Oh well. 
So yeah, it, it's it's a bummer, man. That my my Oregon team's out of the game, even though I picked them to be out of the game. It's it's the fa it, the thing that bugs me is that sure they they definitely lost um, to a team that you could you could definitely argue that they were better than they were, um, and for today they obviously were better because they won the game. But I just I can't I can't I can't help but think that if Oregon if Oregon would have played the way that they did against Duke. Because, I mean, they... Oh, what? What was that? How was that not goaltending? The shot was on the way down. Are you kidding? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> that was so stupid. Oh, come on. You guys are killing me with this crap right now. Oh, jeez. Um, but yeah, I just... I can't help but think that had Oregon played the way they did against Duke, which, by the way, Oregon beating Duke was almost enough for the entire for the entire rest of the outcome to be okay. <laughs> and any time Duke loses in anything, I, I'm I'm pretty happy. So that was that was good times. Oh nice! Nice play. What was that? Are you kidding me? What? How do you do that? How do you airball a layup? Oh man, that was just terrible. Oh man, that was like that was like watching the guy. That's like that's like the guy at the, at like the YMCA, the like the weekend warrior guy at the YMCA. That's like the oh man, I'm I, I could I could have totally played in college if it wasn't for the injuries type of guy. And then he totally goes and bricks a layup. <laughs> oh man, that was awful. It was really funny though, but still totally terrible. Come on, she go up, go up, out a boy. Oh, you can't lose that. You moron! Oh. oh no! Oh no! No no no! No! Oh crap! Oh boy! I I have to score right here. I absolutely have to score. Don't take it! Oh no! He took it away! <laughs> oh yes! Oh no! Oh man! Oh god! It's so chaos right now. It is filled with chaos. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I'll I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take it. I'll take it for three. Oh, he scored. Oh, oh, baby. I have done it. <laughs> yes. Oh, we are the winner, man. That game was crazy. Wowzers. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Man, that was intense. That one was. That one was some real high octane. Some real high octane heated trash right there. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the sense that it was bad. It was just it was high octane and just heated trash came flying out of my face for some reason. <laughs> that was crazy, man. Good lord. Good game, Vin Baker and Lang. That was that was very entertaining, I must say. Didn't really get I tried to get I tried to get Sheed involved in the game a little more, but he didn't help me too much <laughs> in certain cases. Okay, let's let's test the knowledge here. <laughs> Test your trivia knowledge. What college did... Ooh, Serenus Marshallonis? Oh, crap. Um, my guess would be University of Vilnius. I don't think that he went to an American college. Ha <laughs> ha ha! I am the winner. Awesome. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm all about right there. Next opponent, Minnesota, huh? Minna-freaking-soda. I, I can be down with that. But yeah, what I was trying to say before I got caught up in the moment there is, I had to imagine if Oregon played the way they normally play, they would have beaten Oklahoma, because two two of their three best players didn't really show up for the game. I mean, one Dylan Brooks, their main player, only had like five points. He took like four shots the whole game. And then Tyler Dorsey, freshman guard, I think he had like ten points, so he was closer to his average, but had they both played the way that they've been playing in this tournament, they would have won the game by probably about six or seven points, I imagine. Because even as crazy good as Oklahoma played, they played awesome. Uh, they only won by twelve, which realistically is two missed threes and two made threes, f you know, for Oklahoma and Oregon respectively in that sense. And it would have been the other, it, well, that's a tie game right there. It's just, uh, you know, the shots weren't falling for one team, and the shots were falling for the other one. It's a bummer. What do you do? But my bracket's still looking good. So, with that said, my friends, this 
is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching. When we come back next time, we are going to uh, play against Minnesota and see if we can keep the winning trend alive because uh, we're not looking too bad right now. We're, we're, we're starting to get better in terms of being able to close out games. I mean, things have gotten a little hectic down at the end, but <laughs> we're, we're finding ways to pull it off, you know? So until then, this is your host saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.